All right, welcome back to another one of my little meta sound tutorials for Unreal Engine 5. Uh, this one I just wanted to show or sort of document this little structure of how to quantize your game events to the quartz clock. So in my demo setup, I've got, basically I want the, the player to run through here and start the first part of the arrangement, which will start the clock. And then when they reach down here at the orb, there's another trigger box. And I want that trigger box to trigger this more, you know, like cinematic or um, sort of climactic part of the arrangement. Uh, but if they just run through it and it triggers the, it triggers it right away, it won't sound good with the music. So not only do I want that arrangement to trigger in time, but I also want this little fade to occur between the old part and the sec the new part, but that has to happen in time as well. So if I have this little structure here, essentially I'm, I'm gonna have little uh, triggers coming in every single bar, and I'm gonna open the gate only when I run through the trigger box. So that will open the gate and the next one of these bar events will go through and it runs into this sequence node here just so that as soon as it's gone through, it will immediately close the gate behind it so that the next bar events don't keep going through, which is what allows that single trigger to happen from the trigger box and be quantized to the clock. And then it will trigger my fade here. So let's just have a quick look at that. So if I rip up my, start up my uh, level here, great. Running through here, I've got one of the pieces of music queued already. It's just turned down, it hasn't started playing. In another part of my blueprint, I've got that set up so that that's gonna be played on the quantization boundary and the volume multiplier is set to zero so that it doesn't play and, and it's we don't have any kind of uh, blips before we're ready to start the music. So here I'm gonna walk through this trigger box and let's show the volumes. And right here the clock is gonna start, music's gonna start. I'm heading down to my orb. And over my blueprint, you can see that I'm now getting the clock events. And the reason I'm getting those clock events is because I've, after I created my clock, I've subscribed to bar events and created this event dispatcher, which then spits out the, the bar events all the way down here at the bottom. So I'm running over here, coming up to my trigger volume with the orb. And so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna run through this trigger box but it will only trigger the music and the fade. You'll see the event is gonna come through here and then it will only actually trigger the fade in time with the next bar. So let's just watch that happen. So I'm gonna kind of run through haphazardly. And that small delay until the fade actually occurs. So I don't know if we can kind of see the fade uh, logged there. So that's basically it. It's just this little structure here. Bar events come through. You have a gate. Only gets open from the game event. And there you have it you have quantized game events. So I hope that helps and see you in the next one.